Hola. Hola. Uh, Lightspeed Spanish, this is podcast 35 for absolute beginners, and today we're talking about prepositions. prepositions. Uh oh, prepositions. And you might be asking, what are they? Well, wait, and we'll tell you. Cintia, ¿cómo estás? Estoy muy bien. Mm -hmm. Sí. Sí. Sí, ¿cómo te encuentras hoy? Yo, muy bien también. Hoy ha hecho sol. Ha hecho mucho sol. Y mucho calor. Increíble, uh -huh. me encanta. En, en Inglaterra, cuando hace sol, la sensación es de más calor uh -huh. de los grados. Sí. Porque hoy hacía que 20 grados. 20 grados. Y parecía casi 28 o 30 uh -huh. Uh -huh. en momentos de. Porque oh. no estamos acostumbrados a, a tener tanto calor. Sí, pero la humedad también. Se nota. Da más sensación de, sí. de bochorno. Uh -huh. Claro, sí. sí, es cierto, sí. Pero bueno, ha llegado el verano, el verano. en Inglaterra, pero ti, ti, ti. Mm, en dos semanas, tres semanas nos vamos a España. Yo de me todas voy las maneras. En, en tres días. Tres días. Bueno, pero qué buen recuerdo de Inglaterra. Sí, ajá, los últimos días de sol. con sol. <risa> ok, so, we're talking about prepositions. Right, first things first. The word, if you think about it, preposition is preposition. So that gives you a clue, which should help you understand what it is. But in English, it doesn't, because we do it the opposite way around. And I'll explain what I mean. So what are prepositions in, the, in English? Give us an example. And well, in, in Spanish. <laughs> give us an example in English of preposition. For, to, with, by, mm -hmm. okay. without. Little words. At. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On, in, under, yeah. over. Mm -hmm. So what, what prepositions, and they come into different families, which you'll see in the, the help sheets, okay? We'll, we'll give you all the families of the prepositions. But most people don't really know what a preposition is. Interestingly, in the education system in Spain, or at least when you were there, so yeah. a long time ago. Um, not, not as long as yours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I didn't do it. We had pens and everything and pencils. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, chalk and, and, and a blackboard, like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Carving is... <laughs> Cheeky. Uh, okay. In okay. the Spanish system, you actually learn to recite the prepositions, don't you? Can you do that for us in Spanish? Yes, but I have to say that I think it's, it's changed over time. For sure. So I know the ones we used to do when I, I the, went the to school. The old-fashioned ones, yeah? Yes. No, no, the old fashioned. Okay, What yeah, you mean okay. Old fashioned? Come on, let's let's hear them. Okay, is a, ante, bajo, cabe, con, contra, de, desde, en, entre, hacia, hasta, para, por, según, sin, so, sobre, tras. Well done. Excellent. And it, is, it isn't a definitive list, that one, because there is... No, they've added more. Yeah. Um, but that's the one, the, the list I learned. That you learned. Okay. So, the idea of the why it's called a preposition is because it has a preposition. Where should it be, Cynthia? Before. So, it should go before a noun or a pronoun. There you are. And so, the rule is this. You should never finish a sentence with a preposition. Okay, that's the rule. And it's the same rule in English as it is in Spanish. The only thing is, in Spanish, they still hold faithfully to that. Yes. And you cannot end a sentence with a preposition. In English, it's all gone to pot. And as Winston Churchill, Winston Churchill said, apparently, or I'm, I'm sort of not quoting him word for word, but he paraphrasing. said, paraphrasing, he said, a preposition is something that you should never finish a sentence with. <laughs> Very good. Okay. <laughs> so, something like that, okay? So, um, so, we've got this situation where basically you must learn the prepositions. They're, they're so vital. They are kind of, in my view, they are the glue that holds a sentence together. So, yeah, you can learn the tenses and you can learn 
Um, and at very also as well link sentences, sentences together and other absolutely, things. Absolutely, yeah. But yeah, prepositions. Prepositions are kind of the very the backbone of, of oh, linking. In clauses, no more, not even sentences, clauses like yeah. smaller, yeah, smaller units of. Mm -hmm. So what are the bit? Oh, and what are the prime prepositions? The ones that we use over and over again. Uh, I couldn't say the ones that we use. Oh, para, por, por, para, con, para por. sin, mm -hmm. eh, a. Ah, to, um, exactly. De, desde, en. en. I mean, de much more than desde. De is kind of like <laughs> yeah, very, de, very en. heavily used. En, yeah. So this is the thing in English. I think in the the old fashioned way, or I think it's actually the proper way. But we don't do this anymore. You don't do this anymore. It's you can't talk like this anymore. But people used to do it the way we do it in Spanish, which is not having the preposition at the end, but before the noun or the, or the pronoun. Mm -hmm. So, if, if you ask the question, for example, who are you with, and you've put the with, which is a preposition at the end, the, I don't want to say the proper way, but... Uh, but that, the, the actual, the, the official, official way, way, the way the Queen would say it, would be with whom, with whom are you. Mm -hmm. And that's the yeah. way we say that in Spanish, con quien estás. So if you reverse it, if you start to talk in English that way, it can help you see the way we talk in Spanish. Yeah. Because lots of people, when I teach, because when you learn a language, you tend to uh, literally translate from one language to the other. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't work. And with this, it doesn't work. Because in English, you can say, who are you with? But you can't say in Spanish, eh, ¿Quién estás con? Because yeah. it just... It mm -hmm. just it's a bit awkward for us, like we don't know where things are. Mm -hmm. But yeah. if you say in English, if you think in English, with whom are you? Con quien estás? Yeah. Uh, and that applies to the rest of the sentences. If you if you um, want to see this more in action, we are going to do another podcast, and that's going to be um, pod podcast thirty seven. <laughs> He's looking at the book. Yeah, I am. Thirty seven. <laughs> yeah, not the <you're> lad. <laughs> And look, uh, 37 on the early intermediate, we're going to start putting that in act action. Yes. But what happens a lot of times is that when we're talking with our students, they are translating literally in the mind. And what happens is they get into a sentence and then they realize that the preposition is, is there at the end and it can't be. So they get stuck mm -hmm. and you can't get out of that sentence because most times you're starting the sentence with a preposition, most times in Spanish. You know, con quien, a donde, yeah? Yes. Por qué. Uh -huh. Por qué. Por qué, and para qué. Yes. In Spanish, I was thinking, do we do this in Spanish at all? And then I thought that we ask, but this is not right. Uh, we say, for example, um, if I say, estoy enfadada, I'm angry. And Gordon could say, por, but it mm. means por qué. It's really por qué. But some people say por, like a shorter mm -hmm. version of why. But instead of saying por qué, they say por. So it looks like it's finishing a preposition, por, mm -hmm. but it's not, it's por qué. Sure. And, and, and it's, it's one word in one sentence, really. It's por, por. punto suspensivo, no? Por, no, it would be a question mark. Mm. Por? Sí. Mm. But mm -hmm. we really don't. Apart from that, maybe, or things like that, that we, we've omitted something else, like por qué, mm -hmm. we don't. Another, another really, uh, I think, a very important part, uh, point. Prepositions are, are um, some of them have motion, and some of them are location and other things. But one of the biggest, if if, if not the biggest mistake that people make with the prepositions, two, is a and n. Yes. Okay. Okay. Which is, very simple. This I think we've talked about this before. We have, but it's worthwhile mentioning. A is typically motion. Mm -hmm. Boy a. La tienda or al if you've got if the next noun is uh, masculine and it has mm -hmm. the l becomes al voy al cine okay two because mm -hmm. sometimes a is at and sometimes it's two because we say ah yeah um. but when you when you're there okay you say estoy en el cine when in English you can say I'm at the cinema. Mm -hmm. But we don't. We say in because we are we are there. If you say a, ah, it's because you're going motion there. To, so in motion toward a a a a a. Once there, in. Yes. A a a in. Yeah. 
Estoy en. Voy so, a. Yeah. And, and a lot of people who've studied French have an issue because, the, because they're, all, they're in, you, with, with, oh goodness, oh. that's the end of that. Um, that's our time up. Um, we should have had that in silence. <laughs> we so, know. go to uh, podcast number 37 if you want to see the, the prepositions in action, starting sentences. In and action. Not in action. Like a film. I know, <laughs> sounds fantastic. I want to go there now. We haven't in even action. done it yet. Okay. <laughs> Ok, entonces, ya, eso es todo, ¿no? Eso es todo. Muy bien, entonces, nos vemos. Y nos vamos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.